David. I'm Rodney. And we're out here at 76 Avenue North at Lombardo's Italian Restaurant. And tonight we're kicking off with a little bit of fine dining this evening. What do you think, Rodney? I think it's excellent. We're switching it up a little bit, have a little slower pace, but this is a, a very nice establishment. Hey guys, how are we doing? doing oh, good? doing excellent. Well, welcome to Lombardo's. Uh, my name is Chris. I'll be taking care of you guys this evening. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to have a moment to look at the menu. We do have a couple excellent specials for you today. Mm -hmm. um, First off, we have an exceptional veal osabuco. Mm, I saw Slowly that. braised, yes, it's one of the best yeah. options on the menu. Slowly braised, so it's extremely oh. tender. It's served over Parmesan risotto along with roast red peppers and Ooh. peas, and that's top of the veal guinea pig. It's phenomenal. Oh, that sounds excellent. Yes, and if you care for uh, seafood, we have a local treat for you today. We have a trio of grilled bumper sea scallops and jumbo shrimp, and that's oh. all served over a bed of Parmesan risotto, and that's top of the homemade light lobster cream sauce. It's mm. excellent. Uh. If you care for seafood, you have the best taste of what's at the beach today. Yes, sir. Uh, and lastly, if you care for steak, we have a fresh New York strip. Uh, it's 12 mm. ounces. That's top of the balsamic dimmy, and it comes with roasted potatoes and green beans. It's excellent as well. Oh, my God. Oh. And to start you guys <laughs> out, um, that sounds excellent. if you like martinis, we have a peach infused uh -huh. martini. It's excellent. Yep. You've been soaking for about a week, so yeah, it should nice. be pretty great. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's start with Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, it. and uh, as an appetizer special, we're going to do a local twist on a southern tradition. We're doing fried green tomatoes, and those are topped with local mm. diced shrimp, yeah. and I like that. cheese, basil, and then a raspberry reduction. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, sounds good. good. Yes, sir. That sounds good. Get to work. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. Here you go. Yeah, it's going to be good. Food already. And the fried green this? tomato appetizer. Oh. Mm. Mm. Beautiful and delicious. And guys, we can set a surprise you with a mozzarella caprice as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. You want to right. zoom in on that? Are you, uh, how is it? Is it nice, a nice good, uh, the quality there? That's mm -hmm. actually fresh mozzarella and tomatoes with basil and a balsamic drizzle. What is the the proper way to say, uh, what is it? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> And then uh, this right here. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, show show that to the camera there. Let's get a little nice little pan shot of that. Fresh fried green tomato, kind of like a southern treat. Look at look at the presentation. It's just it looks so beautiful. That is a work of art. It really is. I'm almost sad to eat it and ruin the presentation. Like when when a chef has a creation, you can tell that they really take pride in what they're doing. Yeah. You know, just, I mean, just look at that. So, oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Beautiful that you can see the uh, balsamic sauce that they neatly drizzled in like a tic tac toe formation across that. Tic tac toe formation. Yeah. You can tell them about it next time. Well. So what do you say, David? I say now we eat. <laughs> say now we eat. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I've never had actually fresh mozzarella like that. Let's try that. Mm. That balsamic sauce is like a very savory kick. Oh, man. yeah, it really does. So, right now, I'm tasting the freshness of the tomatoes. Yeah, that definitely mm -hmm. is. We're still working on that. It's not overdone. The thickness of the uh, tomatoes. It just pairs brilliantly, so it doesn't overpower the uh, the cheese. You know, it's, it's a, a very delicate balance, but it it, it manages. I think that balsamic so sauce well. goes perfect in there too. It oh yeah, that, like, tanginess. This is a brilliant dish. I love fresh ingredients, and you can really tell that when you taste this. It's just fresh. Absolutely. The uh, balsamic mm. the sauce has a that sweet note to it, you know. I say we switch over your fried green tomatoes. Oh yeah. You know what? I've never had a fried green tomato. No, actually, I'm glad you said that. I've been living in the South for years and mm -hmm. never even seen one. And I the first time, don't I think I've seen. ever seen a fried green tomato either. So let's let's dig in. Let's dig in. I'm just gonna lift it on my plate. <laughs> I want to be close to this beautiful creation here. Don't drop it. There we go. Look at that. Successful. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh my god. What do you think? Oh, here we go. This actually has a sweetness to it too. Yeah? Yeah, try that. Oh my goodness. The crunchy 
exterior of that fried tomato. It's, like a it's outstanding. I've eaten chicken that wasn't that crunchy. <laughs> Honestly. Strawberry sauce? Mm -hmm. You would think that it wouldn't fit on a dish like this. Almost too overpowering. Yeah, but it's perfect. You know, it adds that that subtle sweetness. You know, slightly drizzled. It can almost be a dessert even too. Yeah, I would I would serve this at like dinner parties and stuff. Oh yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. I almost feel like this isn't a tomato. You know, if that makes sense. Like it, it, it feels. I mean, they taste a lot different when they're fried in the green. It feels so much more evolved than just a simple tomato. You know, so much more complex. There's a lot of different flavors here working well together. This restaurant was established in the early 1990s by John Lombardo, who studied under authentic Italian culinary experts. Lombardo's has deep roots cultivated in the very essence of great cuisine that has been in his family for generations. Although the restaurant was purchased in 2017 by the Belagu family, they stuck close to old traditions while simultaneously crafting a tailored experience that will leave you hungry for more. So if you found this review helpful, please stop by and let them know that you shared this experience with us because now we eat is always taking the guesswork out of home. Way too beautiful not to zoom in on that. Yeah, I'll let you, uh, uh, what, uh, what was that again? The seafood trio. Seafood trio. Flounder, shrimp, yeah. and salmon. Maybe tilt it a little? Um, you can see the garnish. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. And then a lobster cream sauce. That's what that orange sauce is. Uh -huh. what, uh, what, what is this circle thing there? What is that? Maybe? That's actually scallops. Scallops? Scallops placed across wow. the dish. So you have scallops placed across the dish? And uh, we got a shrimp there. Oh yeah, a uh, shrimp right in the middle. Shrimp on top of the flounder there. Mm. Oh my god, and then lemon actually on top mm. of the salmon. Oh. Mm. That looks so del delicious there. All right. Look at the presentation there. Just the the, the, the sprig of greens right there in the center. And you have a, a moat of sauce with the. Uh, with the, a light dusting of the seasoning around the uh, of the food there. Go ahead and uh, angle that a little bit there. Yeah. It's, uh, I want to pour sauce in the rest. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think it's paprika they sprinkled around the book. Is it? Yeah. I like that. Uh, turn to the other side there. Let's, yeah, let's you get can that. actually see how it's displayed here. Look at that. Look at that. It's so beautiful. All right, so this is the veal asabuco. I probably pronounced that a little wrong, but forgive me, just know it looks like it's delicious. <laughs> this is the main course, guys, and guys. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start either. I think I'm going to go for the shrimp and see how that goes. Go for the shrimp? Yeah. I'm going to watch you eat that there. <laughs> Tail off there, a little bit of that sauce off. How's that? Oh, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. just describe to us what what are you feeling right now? What are your what are your emotions? It's a cheese based lobster cream sauce. Okay. That's what that is. You've got like a cream and a you know, lobster base with all the lobster seasons and okay. all that. And then the shrimp. Oh my god, it tastes fresh caught. Mm. Yeah. Definitely not frozen here. Oh yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> It looks, it looks beautiful. Mm. Is that, that's crab. Is it crab? That's crab. Wow. Mm. That looks like the thing that, the only thing that would love you <laughs> ever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. 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 Oh, what are you, what are you feeling? Mm. Nice and creamy. The vegetables are, are just awesome. The fresh vegetables have a, a, a sweet undertone, like the uh, uh, bell peppers, from the bell peppers. Uh, this asabuco has like a like a cheese type uh, flavor to it. Like they have some uh, like a nice creamy type of uh, sauce in there. Uh, the peas 
It has peas as well. Um, it, it's really pleasant. Oh my god. Did you it's see so that? Tender. It peels away. All right, let's see. Let's see how that is. Mm. Have you ever had veal before? No. Oh my god. <laughs> so tender. It's 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 beautifully done. I just I need a second to marinate on this <laughs> because you have all these happy things going on. You know you have a little bit of uh, the fat from the veal, and it adds a, a lot of extra flavor, and it, it really just melts as soon as you put it into your mouth. Oh yeah. Literally, this veal peels away so perfectly, you, you don't even need a knife. You Literally, you don't have to cut it. You could just stick your fork in, peel it away. You have a beautiful dish displayed Not from several. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the way from presentation to the actual flavors in each dish. Oh, you really get that sense of this is uh, Italian cuisine at its finest. Any closing remarks, David? Best fish I've ever had. Best fish? I'll toast to that. Best meal in risotto oh, yeah. I've ever had. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.